Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have made this maths lesson plan and the topic is symmetry. So let's get started. So as you all know in the starting we are going to write the details. Okay and those who don't know I am going to tell you each and every step that you need to follow to make this lesson plan. And also I need to tell you one more thing that uh, in the end of this lesson I have given very interesting activities for the students to give on this topic, symmetry. So if you want to look at it, then please watch the video till the end. And uh, let's continue. So firstly, we'll write the details like teacher's name. Then we'll write the subject, mathematics. Topic is symmetry. And this, is, uh, this you can use it for class 5 and 6, both. So uh, you can mention your class that you'll be teaching. Then the date on which you'll be teaching. And the uh, duration. Uh, it means that how much time do you need teach this lesson okay so approximately 35 minutes will be needed so i have written that so after that uh, period will come in which period you you will teach okay after that comes general objectives so general objectives as you know that they are related to the subject that is mathematics so you can use these general objectives copy paste them in every mathematics lesson plan okay so first one is to increase interest of students in mathematics second to enhance the thinking ability of students third to enhance the reasoning ability of students Fourth, to help students to understand the concepts of mathematics clearly. Fifth, to help students to relate mathematical knowledge to their practical lives. Okay. After that comes specific objectives in our lesson plan. So specific objectives are related to the topic that we are going to teach. So they are going to be related to the sim to the topic symmetry. Okay. So first one is to help students understand the meaning of symmetry. Second, to help students identify figures or objects with lines of symmetry. Third, to help students draw the lines of symmetry. Fourth, to help students complete the drawings of symmetrical objects. Okay. And after that comes teaching aids. Teaching aids means all the materials that you, you that you need to teach that particular chapter. Okay. So we'll be needing chalk, duster, blackboard, cutouts of objects, pointer, etc. Okay. Whatever you need, you will write it in teaching aids. After that comes previous knowledge assumed. So we'll write students have previous knowledge about different com components that make up shapes like lines, angles, line segments, sides, etc. Okay. All the things, all the components that are needed to make a shape, they know about it. Okay. Then we'll ne we need to pre uh, test their previous knowledge. Okay. So uh, what do we do? Here we make two columns in our lesson plan. First one is teacher's activity. Second is student's activity. Uh, in teacher's activity, what will we do? The teacher is going to ask the question and the students will answer. Okay. So the teacher will show the cutout of a butterfly. Okay. And she'll ask the question, what is drawn on this cutout? Okay, so the students will reply, a butterfly. Second question is, folding it from the center, the teacher is going to ask, what am I doing? So they will answer, folding the cutout from the center. Third question would be, do the right and left side of the cutout looks the same? So they'll say yes. Last question is, what is the line called that is going through the middle of the picture? Okay, so now it is no, there is no response. Okay, there will be no response. Why? Because it's a problematic question. Okay, they don't know the answer to this, which leads to our, which leads to the announcement of the topic. Okay, now we are going to announce our topic. Remember, whenever we are teaching and even if you are giving demo class, okay, then uh, you need to keep in mind that we never tell our topic in the starting. Okay, we need to ask them some questions which will land on to the announcement of the topic. Okay, so here the heading comes announcement of the topic and we'll say, well, students, today we will study about symmetry in detail. Okay. And then comes the presentation part that means the actual teaching part. So here we make four columns that is subject matter, teachers activities, students activities or blackboard work. Okay. So first thing in subject matter would be meaning of symmetry. What are we going to teach? We can also write here concept. Okay. Or uh, teaching point. Okay. We can write any of these things. So meaning of symmetry we will tell and teachers activity would be the teacher will explain the meaning of symmetry and will write it on the blackboard. Students activity will be students will listen carefully. And blackboard work will be, we'll write symmetry as heading and we'll write its definition. Symmetry is having one side that exactly mirrors the other. Okay. And then second teaching point is line of symmetry. Okay. So the teacher will explain the definition of a line of symmetry with examples on the board. Students will note down the important points and our blackboard work will be, we'll write a line of symmetry divides the symmetrical shape in half where one part is an exact reflection of the other. And we'll draw this butterfly. Okay, and we'll make the line of symmetry and we'll mark it also on the board so that the students can see and observe that what is line of symmetry. Okay, then 
third teaching point is number of lines of symmetry okay so now the teacher will explain that a shape or object may have one or more lines of symmetry or no lines of symmetry at all with examples what is what are students going to do here students activity would be students will observe the lines of symmetry made by the teacher okay and on the board we are going to be uh, to write these things like number of lines of symmetry so firstly we will write no line of symmetry we are going to draw the object that have no lines of symmetry okay and we are going to write their names as well if they have okay so for example first first one i have drawn irregular quadrilaterals okay so they don't have any line of symmetry and then scalene triangle as the three sides are not equal okay so what will we do the teacher will uh, speak up okay the teacher will explain that no line of symmetry are present in uh, these two things irregular quadrilaterals and scalene triangle okay what will students do the students will listen carefully and will observe the shapes okay then we will uh, say the teacher will say one line of symmetry what are the things that have one line of symmetry height leaf heart isosceles triangle okay and then we can draw any two objects or one object whatever we like on the board okay so i have drawn a kite and i have shown one line of symmetry that it has and a leaf okay after that two lines of symmetry are present in rectangle and rhombus okay I have drawn it on the board as you can see and you can copy it like that in rectangle and rhombus. Then three lines of symmetry are present in an equilateral triangle. Okay, as you can see, you will write the same things on the board and four lines of symmetry are present in square. Okay, uh, you can you can write up to like uh, seven or eight or ten lines of symmetry if you want to. But I have only mentioned four lines of symmetry. As the children of uh, class five and six are uh, quite small, but if you want, then you can show, and then we we'll tell them infinite lines of symmetry are present in circle. Okay, a circle has infinite lines of symmetry. They can be drawn from anywhere. Okay, see like I have drawn. Okay, so that is that was the teaching part. After the the teaching part in our lesson plan, we are going to write recapitulation. Okay, wherein the teacher is going to ask the question. Okay, the teacher asks the questions after teaching the chapter. So that you can get to know whether they have understood it well or not. So first question is, what do you understand by the term symmetry? Second, what do you mean by a line of symmetry? Third, how many lines of symmetry does the following have? A, a leaf. B, a square. C, a scalene triangle. D, a circle. Okay. Then comes our main homework part, which is very interesting that I have given. I have given three questions here, okay, which are very interesting. So you should definitely look at it. First question is, complete the following pictures by drawing the other half. Okay. So we can draw pictures like this and we can give them as homework or we can also give them in class because it is an interesting activity. Okay. The children like to draw. So they will be interested in doing this. So second question is draw three to five things from nature and draw a line through them to show the symmetry. Okay. So this is very interesting because they need to think. They, they, their thinking ability will be enhanced and then they will think how can they draw the line of symmetry. So, it is very interesting concept and activity that you can give them. Third question is, write the alphabets from A to Z as shown below and draw the lines of symmetry. Okay, and I have given here one example. Okay, so this would also be very interesting because they have to write from A to Z. And uh, so you can uh, give this um, as a concept based activity. Okay, which will be very interesting for the students to do. Okay, or you can ask them to bring a color sheet to the class in the next class and then you can ask them to draw all the alphabets from A to Z like this and then draw the line of symmetry with a different colored pen. Okay, so that could be an activity that can be done in the class and it would be uh, very interesting to conduct. Okay, so I hope you all like the lesson plan and if you have liked it, then please give it a thumbs up, do comment and tell me uh, how did you find out my lesson plan. And if you want lesson plan on any other topic, then you can also write it there. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching.